Hello everyone! It's so nice to see you all from behind your computer screens. Screams. Screens. I think that's the word I'm looking for. I have not been on a stage since February when I played the Enchanted Market with Sprig and Mist and things were looking to be all rocketing up into the sky of musical glory. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just making up words on the fly. Um, but yeah, I haven't played since then, so it's great to get a chance to play for you guys at this wonderful little online festival. And I am going to start with one of my better known songs that hopefully a few of you know the words to by now and you'll have a little sing song. This is about that most enigmatic, big gothic eagle. The Raven. Oh, I have an itch. Better get rid of that. There we go. I am the Raven. Oh.
ghost. Now, many of you probably know by now that I'm a big fan of bats. I work with bats, I study bats. Bats are great. And when I was being trained on bats last year, I'd just come out of a period in my life that was very dull drumsy. I wasn't doing very much, you know, I was a bit miserable. And in learning about some of the folklore around bats, it was intriguing to realise that they symbolise death and rebirth, letting go of all the things that no longer serve you, building, building anew. And considering I was in the process of building a brand new life around bats, it seemed all rather apt. And this song came out of it. This is called Barbastel, and I chose that species out of our 16 species of UK bat because the Hertfordshire and Middlesex bat group, of whom I'm a part of, joined them, um, are doing a Barbastel project where we're locating maternity roosts, which is all very exciting. Anyway, this is a gig and not a bat educational talk, so I will get on with the song. Bat group 
and do lots of fun things. This song's a bit of a, I suppose, a lockdown blues kind of song, although it's not blues by any stretch of the imagination. Well folky. But I've been spending lockdown living with my ex. Now, generally speaking, now I, I don't want you to think this is a slag your ex off song, because that would be a bit awkward seeing as I live with him. But generally speaking, we do actually get on really well. But spending lockdown together has proven challenging and has definitely highlighted all the reasons we split up for the first place. In the first place, sorry. And there is a, there's a bit of a strange dynamic between us, which is part of the reason why we didn't really work. And we developed a weird parental relationship where he acts kind of like my second dad and I respond like a daughter, or gets a bit weird. But anyway, when that means that when we row, I can end up having a bit of a petulant attitude about it. And one day, after an argument, I went stomping off down to the woods, which is what I do when I'm pissed off, or upset, or whatever. And I kind of sat there and I was like, I think I'm going to live here forever, on my own. I'll just wait here. See if anyone comes and finds me. But they won't because no one really cares. The, the, you know, you know that kind of thing that you normally think when you're about 13. Yeah. Anyway. That inspired this song. And what I wanted to capture in this song wasn't the row. Wasn't any kind of slagging off the X kind of thing. It was the sense of that petulant thing that I think many of us can identify with whenever someone pisses us off because I think very few of us can honestly claim that we're a hundred percent mature in our response to arguments and I think if you say you are you're a fibber this is called to the woods and I hope you like it I run away to a forest place Well, maybe then I'll be left alone Following a path with a black cap singing Where the road they make their home I will go where the orchids grow And under a stone I will find a toad You won't find me, I'll be hiding In the trees I'm all alone Go, find home just go, leave me alone. We are one with the forest kin, the moss grows thick in a mushroom din. We are one with the hoof and horn, we dance the spiral. Round the hazel, the old man's beard is tying knots in the thinker's chair. Jump as the fares and he clatters on his way in gold and amber away. Running where the bluebells nod their heads, casting their spells in an ancient place. I will sit and I don't care if the fairies take me far away I never want to go back home I think I'll live here on my own There's never good at home anyway It's time I was on the road Go find home Just go Leave me Leave me alone We are one with the 
tying knots in the thinker's chair. Jump as the fares and he clatters on his way in gold and amber away. Home is where the heart is well, my heart is here in the forest glade. I will run till I find a place where I can be myself all day. Thank you. I'm just imagining all the rapturous applause that's going on. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. This one's an old favourite of mine. I wrote this in 2003 after reading an amazing series of books by an author called Amanda Scott based on the story of Boudicca. I don't know how many of you have read them, but they're an absolutely wonderful book. And when I was, I don't know, 17 or so at the time, and a young pagan, I found it really inspiring. And I was just really captured by that tale of rebellion. And I still am. I love a good story of sticking it to the man. As I'm sure do most of you. But in the tradition of all good folk songs, in this one, everybody dies. Loads of them, to the tune of about 80,000 people. So that should make any folkies listening happy. Oh, my hat's falling off my head. Oh dear. Right. This is called Blue Spiral Screams. <laughs> Charge. 
spring after a lovely walk in the sun and it was inspired by that that moment I don't know if you've ever experienced it where you come face to face with a hare he's running along and his eyes are right on the side of his head so he doesn't see you till he's literally there and he stops and he doesn't quite know what to do and there's this moment of manic madness in his eyes before he turns tail and he legs it and he's gone and that when you see that manic, goggled-eyed look in a hair, you know you're looking straight into the eyes of the old gods. And that's what this song's about. And I kind of set the hair in this song as the choreographer of the spring, the one behind making sure all the flowers and the bird songs all happen on schedule and in the right order. Now this one, it's one with a sing-along chorus and I would love it if you guys would sing along and I'd love it even more if you'd get your phone cameras out providing you're not watching this on a phone camera that would be difficult and film yourself singing along to the chorus once you've got it that would make me all full of gladness and joy so please do it go on I dare you this is called eyes of the old ways Stare in the eyes of a hare, stare into the eyes of the old gods. They carry the moon and they carry the memories of past ancestors. They tell of the madness of women in tatters who cry for. under harrow who sing for the love of the earth with the eyes of the old ways the eyes of the fay through the eyes of the old ways she calls you away when you stare in the eyes of a hand you stare As the wind she leads a springtime chorus She calls up the cowslips in time with the speed well And brings to the blackbird his song And in a mod matches she calls up the sun As the hour he dances along Through the eyes of Just enough. 
hides of the old ways she calls you singing I heard in my imagination there. Send me a clip of your singing. Please do. I'd love to hear it. Well, it's been good fun doing this actually. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the gig and if you're a first time listener and you've never heard me before, you can follow me at facebook.com slash Brotherhood. You can buy some of my older albums um, on Bandcamp but I'm planning to be recording a new album in the next year, which will be fabulous. I really wish I could be joining Sprig and Miss tonight, but alas, I cannot. So I hope you've all enjoyed the day, and I hope you enjoy Sprig and Mist. Thank you all.